the last video was uh, the end of the course uh, which i had planned so in this video i will just show some simple tips uh, which a functional person might need to know uh, i believe the abapers would know it by now but for functional person it might be new so if you are a new functional guy and you want to know or put a debugger in the t code mm03 so so the easiest way is to go to the backend program for this t code so how do you find the t code uh, program for this t code go to systems goes to status and then go to this program so you can copy this program and open in t code se38 or you can double click here and then put your breakpoint in whatever section or whatever include you want to so you go into the include and then maybe you want to put a breakpoint here so this is one way to find the program name for any t code so how what it did we went to the t code we went to system statuses and then we found the program name the other easier way is you go to t code se93 se93 in the se93 give the t code for which you want to look the program so for mm03 now i go to display so here you see the program name so now go take this program name go to se38 or you can directly double click there as well where you had the program name give this program do f7 and you will be able to see the source code so if i go to this include you will find this so this is one way the same trick can be applied to any program or any t code it can be standard or it can be custom let me show you in the custom t code say i am in gmm sapr this is a custom t code okay i'm i don't have that in that system so let me try here gmm underscore sapr so i'm in this t code now i go to system status and see this is the program name all right or the other way is go to sc93 and then give mm and then this and see the program name is this so hope you will be able to now figure out the source code for any t code any sap standard or custom t code in sap in the whole course uh, we have shown you about the new debugger but before this new debugger was uh, released there used to be an old debugger so we are not uh, going to tell you about the old debugger but there are times when your system or when your screen will automatically take you to the old debugger so when is when does that happen so let me show you this so i'll i'll try to debug debug this t code as a byrd all right now i'll give a slash h and then hit execute check so look look this this debugger looks different than what i have been showing you in this whole tutorial right so this is an old debugger why this old debugger was uh, invoked because there was no additional external mode available for the new abap debugger that means uh, if your system is configured for six sessions you have already opened five and this was the sixth session so so the new debugger could not be opened so for your new debugger to open you need to have at least two sessions available one for the transaction and one for the debugger so what is the what we need to do in order to for the old a uh, new debugger to invoke so you need to close one of the sessions so i'll i'll close one session here and then how to go back to the new debugger just go to debugging switch to new abap debugger all right since you closed one session the this is available so if you look at here so there is always two sessions consumed for the any uh, debugging using the new debugger this was the original t code and this is the new debugger all right so in case sometimes you see this uh, screen just go and uh, close any of the existing uh, any uh, screen and then go to debugging and go to the new debugger okay so this will bring you to this debugger so sometimes you go to the debugger mode and then you think that oh i came here wrongly so what you can do is you can uh, cancel the debugging session so how you can do you can go there and do a restart or you can just close the application so it will close or you can say exit but continue the process and then exit it when it reaches the end it is like this one continue okay so this exit is like exit from the debugger but continue running so it is like don't stop anywhere so usually i use restart or exit so let me let me show you 
if i want to end this debugger what i do debugger and then restart so it will take me to the initial screen so this is simple um, but still i thought it's worth mentioning here for the functional guys